folks, this time in Goss's Garage, I want to tell you a little bit about a part of the car that a lot of people misunderstand. And that is the part that is called a tone ring. A tone ring is what we see right here, this entire piece that goes around the inside of the hub on this rotor. Now, what this is, you notice all the teeth in it. There would be an electronic sensor that sits someplace in here like this, very close to those teeth. Now, as each one of those teeth passes that sensor, it sends a signal to the car's computer. Now, that signal is used, in many cases, to drive the speedometer. It's also used for the ABS brake system because the computer can compare the number of signals from one wheel to the other to know if one of the wheels is locked up during braking and it can release the brake so you get better uh, traction on that wheel and so on. As far as traction control goes, it knows if one wheel is spinning because one will be much faster than the other and that's as a result of these signals from the tone ring into the sensor. All right, now, what could possibly go wrong here? Well, here we have a tone ring that we took off of a rotor just like this, and if we look at this closely right here at the top, we see that it is cracked. Now, what did that mean as far as the vehicle was concerned? Well, it meant a number of trips to different repair shops, none of which found the problem. Now, one of the things that happened with this, this tone ring was so loose that the vehicle would come to a stop and this would continue to spin. So it'd be sitting at a traffic light for uh, a second or two, this thing is still spinning, and the speedometer is still registering that the vehicle is moving. In addition to that, there was an ABS warning light, several parts in the ABS system had been replaced, and there was a traction control light. And of course, here again, various parts and sensors and so on, but apparently nobody had looked at that tone ring to see the crack in it. And that was what was leading to all of these problems. So do tone rings go bad? Yeah, they do. Uh, typically because of moisture getting between the tone ring and whatever it's mounted to. Uh, the moisture in a cold climate will freeze and cause this thing to break. Technicians often break them because of rough handling, removing an axle or something like that. So don't forget that virtually all cars use some form of this tone ring and if you have an ABS, a speedometer or a traction control problem, pay really close attention to the tone rings because you may find a problem right there. Maybe a crack like this, maybe a missing tooth, but lots of times that's where the problem is. And if you have a question or a comment or would just like lots of great information, check us out at goss-garage.com.